is how it kind of goes. Mary, a virgin, was living in Galilee of Nazareth and was engaged to be married to a Jewish carpenter named Joseph. God sent an angel named Gabriel to visit Mary. The angel said to Mary, Peace be with you. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. Mary was so surprised by what the angel said and wondered what the angel meant. Would y'all be scared if an angel come up to y'all and told y'all something special? Would you kind of, sort of? I don't know what I'd think. I might fall out. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid. God has been very kind to you, Mary, and you will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit and give birth to a baby boy, and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son, and his kingdom will never end. Oh man, that was something special right there. And Mary was very afraid. She trusted God though. And, and let it happen as God chose and, and said that and did what the angel told her. You know. But Mary reflected with wonder on the words found in Isaiah. Now this is really a, a strong verse in Isaiah. And this is in the Old Testament before Christ was even born. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Joseph, though, he was worried when he found out that Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage. See, in those days, if you had a child before you was married, somebody might take some rocks and throw them at you. Yeah, they might do. They might have threw them at you a lot. Would y'all be afraid if somebody threw rocks at y'all? I would. I wouldn't want that. And they, Joseph was also afraid he was going to get made fun of because you were supposed to be married before you had a kid. Uh, Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage had taken place. He wondered if he should put off the wedding altogether because he was worried about it. But this is what happened. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife. Mary has been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. The angel told Joseph that the baby would be named Jesus, which means Savior. And he would someday be the Savior of the world. Saves a lot of people. Because he would save people. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel said and what it told him to do and took Mary as his wife. Now, now back in those days, they had... The king was wanting to do some census counts. Uh, so they did a, a census. At this time, Caesar Augustus decreed that a census be taken and every person in the entire Roman world had to go to his own town to register. Do y'all know what register means? No. You don't. When I was y'all's age, I didn't either. <laughs> but it means you have to let the town know that you're part of that town so they can keep a count of how many people is living in each little town. It was important to know that. It, it really was. Mary and Joseph traveled a long way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary traveled very slowly because Mary's baby was due to be born soon. That ain't the same as me and y'all. Your grandmother here, we go slow because our bones just won't let us go so fast. <laughs> when, when they reached Bethlehem, 
they had problems finding somewhere to stay. The inn was too crowded. Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable, and Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. She was wrapped. She wrapped the baby in swaddling clothes and placed him in a manger. Out in the fields, shepherds were tending their flocks of sheep by night. Suddenly, an angel appeared before them. The shepherds were afraid. Would y'all be afraid if a bunch of angels just come and appeared in front of y'all? Would you, Dave? I would too. I. Right? I got no tellings what would happen. Uh, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. You will find the baby lying in a manger. Suddenly a great host of angels, heavenly angels, appeared, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest and peace to everyone on earth. Even the angels was singing here on earth because they were so proud that the Son of God was born. See, all this is documented, so it happened. Everything had to be documented so that way people later in life would know that that happened. The shepherds decided to travel to Bethlehem to see the baby Jesus. When the shepherds found Mary and Joseph, the baby Jesus was lying in the manger as they were told. When the shepherds saw him, they were filled with joy. As the shepherds returned to their sheep, they praised God for sending his son to be their savior. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Now that would be awesome. I didn't get one of them stars for me. I didn't either. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. I'd like to have me a brand new star. Would y'all like to have a star? Y'all want it? Well, that'd be awesome. Wise men in the east saw this bright star. They came in search, knowing this star signified the birth of the king of the Jews. The wise men followed the bright star towards the country of Judea. And when they came upon a town called Jerusalem, they began to ask people, Where is the child who is born to the king of the Jews? Now King Herod heard this. He's kind of a mean, evil person. Kind of like y'all's daddies. <laughs> Sometimes that mean got to whoop y'all. <laughs> King Herod heard this and sent for the wise men to come see him. He told them, y'all go and follow this bright star until they, until they found the baby king. But see, he told them, then y'all come back and tell me where he's at. So King Herod told the wise men, when you, you have found him, let me know where he is so I can go and worship him. But see, he didn't want to go worship the baby Jesus. He wanted to. Anyways, we won't get it all. The, the wise men followed the star towards Bethlehem. The star seemed to stop and shine directly down upon the place where Jesus was. And the wise men entered into the house where they now live and found Jesus with Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him, and the wise men spread the gifts that they had brought before Jesus. And the, the gifts were, Eli, do you know what those gifts were? What were they? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men were warned in a dream by God not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their countries in the east by a different way. Wasn't that a good story? That's the first Christmas. And you know we've celebrated Christmas ever since. And we'll continue celebrating it from now on.
And that's, that's, that's the story of Christ. What is it, hey? Y'all sure can. How about y'all stand up right here and uh, right down through there and, and y'all say what y'all got to say. Oh, my aching back. Here, help me out just a little bit. Yeah, that feels so much better. Oh, my God. Don't you call me no old man.